Opened by MSF 25 years ago, Lear Hospital is located in Unity State in the north of South Sudan. It was the only secondary health care facility in the region, serving a population of nearly 300,000 people. In 2013 alone, MSF teams at the hospital performed more than 68,000 medical consultations, provided surgical care to nearly 400 people, and treated more than 2,000 malnourished children. People suffering from Kala Azar, a neglected tropical disease, and tuberculosis received long-term care in the facility. In mid-December 2013, violence broke out in South Sudan and spread to Unity State. In the months that followed, MSF performed more than 4,000 consultations and 170 surgeries in Lear. But all activities ceased when approaching violence forced MSF to evacuate the hospital in late January 2014. More than 200 local MSF staff fled to the bush, taking several critically ill patients with them. With meager supplies and in terrible conditions, they tried to continue treating them. Between the end of January and early February, Lear Hospital was ransacked, looted, and burned. When staff returned to the hospital compound, the silence was as noticeable as the devastation. The once bustling, lively medical facility, where babies were born and people were healed, was transformed into a crime scene. The only signs of life were the birds, chirping in the trees sheltering the patient waiting area, where rows of wood benches sat empty. The same was true for the town of Lear itself, much of which had been burned to the ground. At the hospital, the emergency room, the pharmacy, storage rooms, even an operating table had been reduced to ash. This was our food storage tent. In here we kept the therapeutic food for the children in the malnutrition program, food for our inpatients, our TB patients, and it's completely empty and burned. Surgical supplies were torn from their sterile packaging and strewn everywhere. Cold storage units, critical for keeping medicines at required temperatures, were smashed beyond repair or melted by arson. Drugs that weren't looted were scattered all over the hospital grounds. Behind me is what's left of one of our operating theatres and it's destroyed. The inpatient wards had been stripped bare of their beds. Fire collapsed the roofs of several structures. The wanton destruction rendered a community's literal lifeline unusable. 270,000 people who relied on this hospital for health care now have nothing. Even if people wanted to come back to Lair and, and, and get health care here, deliver babies, uh, have children in the, the malnutrition program, they can't because this place has been utterly destroyed.